Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to explain to you how you can use uh, the rollup column combined with the relationships. So let me just start what you can do and I'm going to show you and explain it to you by having my CRM here. So let's say that I have a deals here and I'm going to like remove all my accounts, deals, etc. So even from contacts I'm going to remove this Therefore, I'm going to also remove the linked column and also from accounts, I'm going to delete that too. So what do we can do? So let's say I have a deal and I already created a list in contacts and I have a list of accounts. Accounts as a company, contact working for that company and deal uh, is for from the person from the contact which is working, who is working for the company. I'm going to uh, add a column, which is going to be first relationship. Here, I'm going to add a relationship name, uh, which is going to get called um, contact for the deal, related to any task in your workspace or task from specific list, and I'm going to choose contacts. Add a column. Here, I'm going to click contact, and I can simply choose the contact that is here. Now I'm going to click plus here. And again, I'm going to add relationship. And let's say I'm going to write accounts. Again, I'm going to choose accounts, which is a company. And now I'm going to simply choose a company. Now what I will do, I will click again plus here. And that's pretty much it. Now you can add roll up, but I'm going to add a roll up for contacts and accounts. Because let's say that I want to copy the deal value directly from the active deals in my contacts and accounts. So what I will do, I will simply click on the contacts. I will click add a column. And I'm going to add relationship. And relationship is going to call deals. And this field already exists in the contact lists. Show it. Okay. And it's going to be directly with the deal name Marcus because I already have it connected with the active deals. So it's going to get called deals. Now what I will do, I will add a column and I will simply add a rollup. Rollup is, it's going to add a field name. So this is going to be deal value. And I don't have to go to deals and find the price. I will simply relate it to if it's going to be tasks dependencies or the deals. You can have a relationship with a task, let's say, or I can simply have it with dependencies if I have it, or I can simply choose deals. And then I can choose the rollup field that I want. And the rollup field that I want is a deal value. Then create. And here I have the price, $20,000. I'm in Euro. Same with the accounts. It's completely the same. So for the accounts, first thing first, I'm going to add a column, add a relationship, which is going to get called deals. And this field already exists in account list. So I'm going to have sh show it. And as you can see, as we have in our deals, the relationship with our company, we can with our accounts, we can directly add our accounts and we don't have to choose it because it's going to automatically link it. Now again, I will click plus here. I'm going to choose roll up and here I'm going to add a, a name, which is going to call deal value relationship with the deals roll up field deal value. And I hope I explained it well, how it works and how we can connect uh, on CRM is really great. Uh, like uh, example, what you can do. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope this video helped you. This is how we can use the relationship and the roll up tutorial and relationship roll up columns. So thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.